Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is one of those videos where we're going to do a whole bunch of stuff. First, we have some brand reveals and some BoxyCharm spoilers that are coming up for the month of November and onward. And because it's the end of the month and I only had a couple spoilers that wasn't going to be a whole video, so I'm also going to be doing my favorites and flops for the month of October, which are all of the products that I've loved through the entire month what I ended up grabbing for again and again and again, some of which I've only used a handful of times, but I already know I love. So if that's something you're into, make sure to keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe because I upload, I upload every other day and that'll be the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. So if you wanna jump into my favorites and flops for October, as well as some BoxyCharm updates, spoilers, and some brand reveals, stay tuned. Now, I know most of you are here for the BoxyCharm content, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to link up above a couple of videos that have to do with a few BoxyCharm updates, the price increase, my thoughts on all of that information, and some current spoilers for the November box that we already have, including a full review on all of the choice items, which products I would pick from each choice line, and all of those products in micro-reviews because I'm familiar with a lot of them and have used most of them. Now, I'm not going to repeat any of that information, so feel free to check out those videos, but I do have a few tweets from BoxyCharm's Twitter that I just want to talk about because all of them have to do with some product review and product reveals. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is a tweet that they did on October 5th, which says, would you rather a resurfacing face cream or a winged stamp eyeliner? Now, most of the time when they ask questions like this, the uh, hashtag is always BoxyChat. This time it says Boxy Sneak Peek, which obviously means there's going to be a sneak peek. Now, of the brands that BoxyCharm had mentioned were coming that we haven't seen yet, the first product that I'm going to unofficially reveal, I'm going to say is the Kaja Stamp Eyeliner. Kaja has revealed that it would be coming in a box, and we haven't seen it yet. So obviously that is something that I'm really, really confident about. Now, obviously this is not confirmed but the following two items and the other brands are confirmed. We'll get into that later. Anyway, the resurfacing face cream is the one that got me. Because when you look up resurfacing face cream, the first one that comes up is Elemis, which is a brand that we have gotten in the box many, many times. So I'm not confirmed, but this is my speculation, that this variation, or at least these products that they're talking about, are gonna be the Elemis face cream that is a resurfacing face cream and the Kaja Winged Eyeliner Stamp. Now onto the other tweets. The first one that I have up here is that they are manifesting Ofra Cosmetics in the box. Ofra is again one of those brands that we have gotten in the box many, many times. We've gotten lips, we've gotten highlighters, we've gotten setting powders and banana powders, we've gotten bronzers, we've gotten so many Ofra products, so many highlighters, and some eyeshadow and cheek blush palettes. So really, it could be anything coming to the box, and I have no idea what's coming, but based on this tweet right here that they put up, uh, this was put up on the 9th of October, there's going to be Ofra in the box. Now, I wasn't going to make a whole video about one spoiler, so then about six hours ago, they just tweeted, BRB manifesting shop Violet Voss into our future box. Now, Violet Voss makes some amazing eyeshadow palettes. Uh, I've also used a bunch of their brushes, which are also super high quality. Not a new brand to the box. It's something that we have absolutely received before, but it is a brand that I've never been unhappy with, so I'm really excited for the opportunity to get them. Let me know down below, are you excited for the potential Kaja stamp or the resurfacing cream, potentially from Elemis? And which brand are you more excited for? Violet Voss or Ofra? Because honestly, I would really love my hand to get my hands on both. Now that we got the BoxyCharm spoilers out of the way, I do want to jump into some favorites and flops many of which came out of BoxyCharms as well. So I only have one flop this month, and I'm going to start with that. This is the MAC and Aaliyah lipstick in the shade Streak Thing. I'm going to link a video I did, which was my, was it my Tribe unboxing for the month? No, it was my Chic Beauty box. And it came with this lipstick. It was super, super dry. And based on the fact that this came out in 2018, I think it's just that I got sent an expired product because I have a lot of MAC lipsticks, and I don't think it's the formula, because I've never experienced this with a MAC lipstick, but it is super dry. But even in spite of that, it's a beautiful color. It just takes a lot of warming up before you get the full color payoff. Now, obviously, a black lipstick is something I really only wear one season out of the year anyway, but it just ended up not working out for me in that video. I had to take my lip off and ended up putting something else on, and it was just a mess. Jumping into my favorites, because there's a bunch of them. 
First, I want to talk about the Aether Beauty Big Bang Mascara. Now, I am wearing it today. I tried it on camera for the first time, but I was actually on set for the photo shoot for Aether when they did this. So even though I've only used it on my own eyes once, I have applied this to models several times throughout that day where I did makeup for that shoot, which was honestly really exciting, and I think it turned out really, really well. I love the formula. It has black diamond in there, which are gonna help to condition your lashes. There's quinoa, which is very protein heavy. This is not sponsored, and like, I'm not getting paid to say this, but I'm really happy with the formula. Definitely has made its way into my top five mascaras. I'm gonna have to play with it more to see based on what my lashes need, if it's something that I really, really will continue to know and love and use. It's one of those things where I like a lot of lift and curl to my lashes, and this is definitely more of a volumizing mascara, so I do need to play around with it a little bit more to see if it's really good for me, but on all of the models I put it on, there were no peeling, flaking, uh, crumbliness, and there didn't seem to be any issues with water, so I'm not gonna say it's waterproof, but lightly water resistant, I would say. But yeah, definitely something you will expect to see more of. While we're on the subject of Aether, the lipstick I'm wearing today is actually the Ruby, uh, the color is Ruby, but it is the Radiant Ruby Lip Cream as well. This is the color I have on today and it's really pretty. I do want to shout out one other color because they have six of them, but my two favorites are Ruby and Dream. This is like my perfect nude lip. I don't have it on, obviously, but I will be wearing this on camera in a future video. It looks a little more taupey and darker in the tube, but when I swatch it, it is like the perfect nude mauve lip tone for my complexion. And even if you're a little darker than I am, I think you could really like this shade. If you had to pick two colors, these are the two I would go with, Ruby and Dream. They have a bunch of lip duos on their site right now, so you can get like bundle prices so you don't have to pay full price for each color, but it's completely up to you. Those are the two colors I would be most likely to recommend of the six. Next, jumping into some items that came out of my Boxy Charms and my Ipsies, the new Georgia lip, not lip, Georgia blush from Benefit is so beautiful. I'm gonna take it on a nice fluffy brush and I'm just gonna add a little bit to the cheeks. I find that it just adds the most beautiful peachy glow to the skin. It is not a matte finish. And then with whatever's on my brush, I just like to kind of take it everywhere because I find it just brings the skin to life with this beautiful ethereal glow. I take it on the cheek as like a blush or a blush topper, and because my skin's a little more on the cool side, I can get away with using whatever's on my blush brush or my powder brush just to kind of give it a little bit of a finish to the whole face because I'm a little more on the pinky side. If your skin's a little more yellow or you're more warm tone, you might not be able to get away with it like I can, but I basically use this all over as like a cheek, and then I'll use it as a quick finishing powder because like this color, on my skin just kind of gives me a little bit of that glowy warmth without looking like a blush. Now, the only reason I'm able to get away with doing that is because the base powder was a mattifying powder. I used the Makeup Forever uh, Matte Setting Powder. It's their new powder. Mine is in the shade Banana, which is shade two. Normally I don't love banana powders, but I think it really did match me quite nicely. It didn't leave me looking too yellow, but it was neutral enough that I can get away with using that as like a lightweight finishing powder, just to add a little bit of that glow back to the skin. Super finely milled. Uh, it did come with the powder puff that I didn't use to apply the powder, but I did use it to kind of like pick up and move the powder around. But it's that really velvety finish. I'm actually gonna try this next time because I wanna see how this works for like pressing powder in. I really just used it for finishing, but it was a really great product. Also out of my BoxyCharm, the Maneater Lip Plumping Gloss from Tarte. I don't normally go for plumping lip glosses, but it was so beautiful and felt so luxurious on the skin that I was really happy to play with it, and I have now worn it three times since then, which for me is a big deal. I don't normally reach for things that many times in a row, so definitely a win for me. And I do have two palettes I wanna give the like fall favorite stamp of approval to. The first came out of my BoxyCharm. It was the Ace Beauty Falling For You palette. This is the most beautiful fall toned palette because it's not something you'd expect. You know, I would expect, I'm, I'm not gonna throw shade because this is the other palette that I'm loving this month, the ColourPop Original Hocus Pocus palette. That's what you would expect a fall toned palette to be. This is still fall while being so much more vibrant. So I love them both because they do opposite things. This gives you these bright, rusty, warm tone, even like tangerine pumpkin colors, beautiful and very fall without being obviously fall. Whereas this is your traditional like olive and maroon with those shimmers that coordinate 
kind of color. I love this palette. I get one of my favorite go-to smoky eyes out of this palette. I'm actually using one of the shades here on my lid today because the palette I used, the color wasn't quite vibrant enough, but I love getting like a neutral olivey smoky eye out of this palette. With this one, I love taking that purple just to give me that like grungy vibe while I go in with literally any of the other shimmers and a tiny bit of that warm orange in the crease just to warm things up. Anyway, those are my favorites and flops for the month. These are the products I have been loving as well as some updates and spoilers coming from BoxyCharm. A couple of them are unconfirmed and they're just my speculation. And then obviously some of them are brands that BoxyCharm straight up said, we are manifesting these brands into a box. Let me know all your thoughts down below. I would love to hear it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.